one so what we're going to be looking today is indirect or inverse proportion okay they are the same thing you just might see it in the question in such a way so inverse proportion if two quantities are related in such manner then if one quantity increases by a factor k the other one decreases by a factor one over k then the quantities are said to be inversely proportional so if it is van high it's 120 quid per week so you've got a cost and number of people so two people, half the cost. Three people, third of the cost. So apologies for the music, uh, the sound effects even. Uh, so the case of hiring the van, we say that the cost is proportional, inversely proportional to the number of people. So C equals K over one over N. So therefore we could write it in this way, C equals K over N. So the product C times N is the constant and the points lie on the curve of the form of Y equals 1 over X. So this is when we talk about them being inversely proportional. So say a question started and said Y is inversely proportional to inversely proportional to x squared let's say for example what would you write well you would start with y inversely proportional to x squared yeah so y inversely proportional to x squared so you write this first of all so that demonstrates that you've identified that it's inversely proportional the next line you would have to write y equals k over x squared because that k is how it's inversely proportional okay so simply you write this and then you move to y equals k over x squared so what we like to do now is i would like to pause this video and see if you can actually match these questions here so you've got different sayings some of them are directly proportional some are inversely proportional or indirectly yeah so see if you can match them okay so pause the video try this for about two three minutes and this is what you should actually have, okay? So y is directly proportional to x. Nice and easy from yesterday's lesson. y is inversely proportional to the square root of x. So because it's inversely, you write k over it. y varies inversely by x. Same again. y is inversely proportional to x cubed. So that's why it's inversely. So you have it as a fraction k over x cubed. If it's directly proportional... It's k times whatever it's asking you to do. Okay, really, really important. The mistakes they usually get in these questions is people actually confuse the square and the square root somehow. So let's have a, let's have a look at a question. So d is inversely proportional to w. And when d is 3, w equals to 9. So how do I start this question? Well, first of all, d equals k over w. Okay, so you could have actually started with even more, uh, another step. d is inversely proportional to w then moving on to this so you can either rearrange like yesterday or you can substitute okay if you rearrange obviously k is going to be equal to d times w or you can substitute and then rearrange so k equals 27 really really important we talked about this yesterday make sure that you write down the relationship between the two okay if they ask you which what is the relationship between d and w you don't write d equals k over w, you need to find what that value k is, you need to find that constant. And find the value of d when w is equal to 3, so all you've got to do using this, so when w is equal to 3, d equals 27 over 3, so d must be equal to 9. Right, same again if you want to pause the video and try this question. So you should have r is inversely proportional to the square root of f, so r is inversely proportional to the square root of f. So therefore, the first line we need to write, r equals k of the square root f. Substitute. Rearrange. Okay, remember square root of 16 is to simply 4. So k is 1, 2, 8. You need the relationship. Please, please, please make sure you always write it down. And then simply substitution to work out the other value, which would be 64 okay you don't have to you're not after the square root f you have to axle f 
So these are some of the questions I've got on the worksheet also for yourselves. Okay, so we're going to go through them also. So if you feel free to actually try the worksheet first and then come back to these questions. So Boyle's law states that a constant temperature, the volume V of a gas, is inversely proportional to its pressure. So straight away, V is inversely proportional to pressure. So V inversely proportional to pressure, V equals K over P, K is VP, substitution, and your two answers should be 6 and 480. Same again. You should be trying these on your worksheet first and then coming back here to check your answers. The cost C of a hiring a transit van is inversely proportional to the number of people. Done. C equals K over N. That is the hardest thing you've got to do. Then after that is simple substitution. So relationship. And your two answers are 30 and 16. Continuing. Question two, please do not just actually just copy the answer. The time t taken for a journey to the moon is inversely proportional to the average of speed. There we go, same again. Substitution, relationship in between them. And then work out the other two values. So 15 we've got and 10,000 miles per hour. One quantity can be inversely proportional to the square of a cube or another, okay? So we talked about this yesterday with direct proportion. So intensity I of a light for failing, uh, falling on an object varies inversely as the square of its distance. So I varies inversely the square of its distance. Simple as that. Relationship, 48 and 8.8. .8. That's the two answers you should have. Question four, the air pressure uh, is delivered by a bicycle pump. It's inversely proportional to the square of its diameter. So pressure is inversely proportional to the square of its diameter. So pressure equals K over D squared. Why have it K over? Because it's this the key word, okay, inversely. Relationship, answer, and answer. Okay, mark, mark, and obviously mark for the relationship. Question five, the force of attraction F between two magnets is inversely proportional to the square of the distance apart. Same again. Relationship, answer, and four centimeters for the other answer. So I'll also want you to try these four questions for us. Uh, the same thing, inversely proportional questions. And pause this video, obviously, and then your answers should be these. So not 0.5, relationship P is 4 over Q. Relationship R, 6 over root S. Answers 2. 2 equals 2 over u squared, u is plus minus 4, v is 5 over w in the power of 3, and answers. Perfect, thank you.